So in the stock market, we classify information into two, three different levels. We have level one information, we have level two information, and we have level three information. Now, level one information is information that can be gone pretty much anywhere, and it, all it gives you is the bid price and the ask price. The bid price is what people are willing to pay for a certain stock. In this image, in this case, it's Apple. And the ask price is what people are willing to sell the stock for. So that's all you need to know in order to buy a stock, if you want to buy it. It's how much it costs, basically. Now, level two information is a little bit more advanced. It allows you to see all the market orders, all the market sell orders, and all the market buy orders for a certain stock. So as you can see in this image, uh, everything is fairly normal here, except uh, we have a sell order for 1.3 million shares, which is pretty big relative to everybody else. And what this means is that the stock will not go up in price any, anytime soon because somebody is trying to sell a lot of stock for a certain price. So having this type of information is somewhat useful if you're going to be day trading stocks. Uh, but a lot of people nowadays believe that this information will give you a huge advantage, but that's actually a bit of a falsehood. So level two information was actually really useful about 20 or 30 years ago, back when not everybody had a computer and back when not everybody was using it. And basically back, you know, 20 or 30 years ago when people were trading blind in a way, um, access to level two information would give you a huge advantage if you were day trading because you would have access and be able to see all of these day orders and you would be able to predict where the stock was going to go up in price and you could you know strategically jump into a stock and jump out of a stock and you could make some money very very quickly nowadays it is not very useful because well because we have level 3 information which I'll get into just a little bit but also because everybody has access to this information whenever everybody has access to certain information then it's not as useful as it was before obviously because if everybody knows that something is going to happen and everybody thinks that something is going to happen then that something will probably not happen because everybody already believes it to happen and something else will happen so when everybody has a, when everybody has access to the information it is not very useful also this information is not very useful because we have level 3 information now level 3 information basically consists of market makers well it's only available to the market makers and basically these are the actual dealers who process the securities themselves and also the people who have a lot of money to invest, they also have access to this information. And what this allows people to do is it allows people who have a lot of money and entities such as banks and such, it allows them to sell and buy securities in the market without being shown on level two information. So if somebody wanted to sell 1.3 million shares, but they didn't want to be shown on the level two information, they could be taken out, but they would have to have access to level three information to do so. And the reason this exists is because it actually makes a lot of sense, but think about it. You know, if you're Warren Buffett and you want to spend a billion dollars to buy Apple stock over the next few months, you don't want people to, to know that. You don't want everybody to know that around you. So you have access to this level three information. And what you can do is you can slowly scoop up shares of Apple without anybody else knowing. And then, then once you're done doing that, you can announce it. And then people will probably jump on the bandwagon and your stock will go up. You don't want to do it the other way around because, you know, if you want to buy a billion dollars worth of Apple shares and information gets out that you want to do so, then people will jump on the bandwagon because people are people. And if, you know, if somebody's spending a billion dollars on Apple stock, they must know what they're talking about. Uh, but people will jump on the bandwagon and drive up the price of the stock. So you don't want that information to get out, which is why this exists. And this also makes level two information a lot less useful because it does not level two information does not tell you what the uh, big institutions are doing it only tells you what the individual people are doing and that is not very useful well it is useful but it's not it's not useful enough because you're not able to see what the institutions are doing and the institutions a lot of the time are the ones who are controlling the big money and the ones who know a little bit more information than the general public and that is the information that is really really valuable to know and unfortunately, you cannot get it through level 2 information. So I hope this helped. If it did, give a like and uh, check out some of my other videos.